Yeah. I was in jail for a year. I did uh, six, or three months, six, three months of that, six months of that. Yeah. yeah, three months and two weeks, I think it was. Yeah, that's right. You do two thirds. You get time off for good behavior, half the time off for good behavior, another third, third of the time off for uh, being, uh, for having a job and maintaining a job. So as far as your tours are concerned, this is the D level? <laughs> yeah, this was the, uh, I think this is the F level. I, it might even be below yeah. F level, like the Z level. No food reviews coming from no, you? Well, actually, federal prison is probably Z level. I was more like, uh, you know, county jail is like, yeah, it's like G level, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet it's tough recording when you're when you're in prison. You probably get behind a few bars. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> 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 Actually, there were no bars because I was uh, I uh, graduated out of the uh, the, j the you know the first couple of weeks you're in jail. Like they put you in the main house with like murderers and stuff. <laughs> and to, while you're waiting for your release pa your work release papers to come through. That was probably one of the scariest. Uh, yeah, if you're in county, they don't divide you up. You're all together. Yeah. Well, at first, because they're waiting to send you. Right. They're into waiting the to system. send you wherever you're going to go. Yeah. But at first, you're all together, and so yeah, all those people that are waiting their trial or yeah. whatever, mm -hmm. you know, they're, they're all there, and it was like 30 guys in a room about the size of smaller than this entire basement. Mm -hmm. 30 guys, bathroom with like five urinals and one toilet on a stage with no curtain <laughs> uh, that i'll never forget yeah. walking so in that bathroom like looking at the toilet up on a stage and the and the bathroom has no it's like there are two doors into this bathroom area it's sort of like a it's like this like a wide open room and there are two doors here with no 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 doors on them, just doorways, just yeah, open. Yeah. And there's the toilet, like over there, on a stage. I'm like, well, are you kidding me? I didn't poop for a week. <laughs> no, almost two weeks. Oh my God. Almost two weeks, bro. I did not poop. Ugh. I'm not sitting on a stage in front of everybody. I just couldn't. Nowadays, I'd be like, fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> you know? but at 20 something, you know, I was like, uh uh, that is not happening. That has not happened. Yeah. And then, like, I get my uncle was the assistant commissioner of the labor department in New Jersey, so I, I had, um, <laughs> I had, I had a good connect there, and he supposedly made a few calls, like, to sort of speed up my work release. But I had, a, but in, and then in the meantime, I got a, a job, the best prison job, the second best prison job. The best prison job is the laundry because he gets to go all over, including the women's part of the prison. <laughs> and the second best is commissary. That's you work in the prison store. Yep. So I got the commissary job. And so there's one guy who's like, you know, you're not just like it is on TV. There's one guy who's like, obviously, the biggest, strongest, baddest guy in there. And he was he had killed somebody. He had two bodies on him. He had some armed robbery, he killed two guys. So he got two bodies on him. And this guy was built like, you know, <laughs> he was built like um, like uh, The Rock. <laughs> he looked a lot like The Rock, too. That same light skin, you know, big guy. So I get the prison job. And, and there were all kinds of knuckleheads in there bothering me and just... Because I was a shy guy, quiet, very thin. I weighed 162, 100, and barely 160 pounds, 157 pounds. So <laughs> I was pretty scrawny. And uh, they were bothering me. So then uh, I get the prison job. Now all of a sudden, like nobody's bothering me anymore. But the big guy calls me over. I'm like, oh, man. Oh, this Can this get any worse? So he's he shoes one of his boys where he has like and there's like prison it looks like it's still in the 1950s i mean yeah, the way old. i mean they don't <clears throat> that prison actually is closed now the one in new just was in new jersey and so anyways it's like he's sitting on an old broken down chair it's the only chair in there the rest is like some milk cartons and some other you know like boxes and that's what people are sitting on so he shoes his boy like, hey, whoa, 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 make way for this guy yeah sit down next to me I'm like, oh boy. So I sit down. He goes, oh, I hear you got the commission job. And I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. He says, um, they give you two cartons of cigarettes a week, don't they? I said, yeah, yeah. They, you want them? 
You can have them. I don't smoke. <laughs> That's how stupid I was. He was like, is this guy for real? Like, <laughs> nobody's that stupid. Like, I'm like, oh, you want them? You can have them. I don't care. He's like, he was expecting, I guess he, I don't know, was he expecting a fight from me? I'm like, I'm like <laughs> 457 pound musician, you're a fucking professional killer. <laughs> what do you expect? Sure, you can have them, you want what else you want? You, know, you want my shoes? I mean, I, I was really like like this, and he, he was so taken back by it, and by like, sort of like my, you know, all the guys there, they're all like, you know ghetto dudes you know <laughs> like they didn't even think they didn't they, a lot of people were asking me what country are you from because oh yeah my english was so you know my dad was a was an english teacher so my diction and english speaking properly with a if you made a grammatical mistake you know you might lose dessert my family <laughs> so, <laughs> i was very i was very proper and, hey man where you from england <laughs> so i play it yes i was born in hampshire <laughs> you know, just make some shit up and yeah. wow you know it's so easy to to like bamboozle all those guys they're so dumb so um <clears throat> but it was so funny like so i gave him i gave him the cigarettes after that nobody bothered me i was like this is awesome yeah that's great and i was like the only guy in prison with a decent job so after like and you have to take your paycheck from your job and directly deposited into the prison bank hmm. so they, you're not allowed to have any money of course so um my like check, two so, cartons of so cigarettes after like uh, after like the first month i was the richest guy in prison and everybody know because there's no secrets in there because the prisoners kind of run everything so you know like the records like they're the secret you know so so everybody knew that i was had the most money in my prison account by like thousands <laughs> mm. so <laughs> i don't know what that guy's doing so <laughs> after a while they all i know they thought i was like some king queen drug dealer or something <laughs> so i got treated with a lot of respect i was getting my suits pressed for me and my sandwiches made for me at night by his uncle Corey. it's like the oldest guy in prison you were getting the aged toilet wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, but I was out every day. So, you know, yeah. once I got my work release papers, thank goodness I was out because it was getting, you know, weird in there with the 30 people in the room. And 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 finally I could go to the bathroom. Whew, man, I was so relieved to get my work release job. But that, that was my, that was the uh, late 80s for me. So then... So yeah, to go from that to Steely Dan in four years was those from eighty eight. I got out of prison in eighty eight, um, and uh, then uh, I moved to the city in ninety. Then I Steely Dan in ninety three. Mm -hmm. 